everyone. I thought I'd just sneak a live on you. Um, basically, it's got to whatever time it is now. And I haven't filmed a video, so I thought I'd just go live. Um, obviously, I save it and then people can watch. Watch it back. Um, I normally go live on Facebook and I thought, let's do a YouTube live. And be a bit whimsical and change it up. Yeah. But you might not get many people watching you on YouTube because nobody's expecting it. Yeah, nobody's, nobody's expecting you on YouTube. So. Oi, Nana! Out of there, you disgusting dog. Um. Hmm, I can't remember what I said. Podrick, not you as well. That is bad. Yeah, I might not get as many people because I wasn't planning or hadn't planned to go live. But hello to whoever's just joined us. Very impromptu live. But I thought you could see them. And if you're here and you want to ask questions. Or you want to see a certain puppy up close, you're more than welcome. Just write a comment and I shall do my best to show you a puppy up close. If you can hear puppies in the background, that's Raven, Pumpkin and probably Pod. Hi, yeah, they are, no, they're really sweet. Do you have a favourite, anyone? Hey, Princess Leia. You're quite a lot of people's favourite because you're very naughty, very cheeky. Yeah, yeah, you're very cheeky. Yeah. So eating their puppy mash. Which I'm not going to lie, they done, it's not their favourite meal of the day. Whoops. Who's there? Who's Miss Purple? It's not your favourite meal of the day. No, I know that. I know that. Oh, we're annoying Dudley now. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear... Dad, shut up! They go in his face because he reacts. It's like a never-ending cycle with Dudley, unfortunately. And he, that's the only way he does react. Like, you know, if he really just proper told him off, like Nala tells him off, they wouldn't bother again, but because he doesn't properly tell him off, they keep going back. You look like your daddy, don't you, Mr. Blue? You look like your daddy. Yeah. Yeah, you like your daddy. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Alyssa. Yeah, good, thanks. Um, basically, I went live on YouTube because it got to this time and I haven't filmed a video. Um, but basically, I, I've been busy. I've been food shopping. I've cleared my car out. Uh, I've been on the quad with the dogs, I've mucked it out. I knew Hoover arrived, so I've been messing around with that. And then uh, some puppy people came and visited. So, yeah, I've just got to this time of the day. And I hadn't filmed a video, so I thought I'd go live. And I thought I'd do it on YouTube for change, because usually I do Facebook as well. Uh, good, thanks, Tammy. Yeah, busy, busy, busy. God day. I call it a day off, but I'm going to West Midland Safari Park with Sarah tomorrow. So Tegan and Helen are um, puppy and dog sitting. I've actually got the first day off, as in going out somewhere with no dogs for months. It doesn't happen often. Still animals though, isn't it? The safari park. Hey Raven. Are you naughty Raven? Oh. 
She's a tinker, she is. She's a tinker. You want to come in here? Because you want to pinch their food. I know you, Ravenclaw. You, yeah, you're naughty. You all woken up. You all woken up the bin now. Yeah, with you. So who's everyone's favourite now? Is anybody's favourite changed? Oh. Don't lash your spots up, Mrs. Miss Red, yeah. She's lashing, she. she got a cheeky face. That's what I think. But she's got a bit of a pod look to her face as well. I don't know if it's just the eyeliner. It just reminds me of pod. You're pretty too, Miss Pink. Even with your big eye patch. Even with the big eye patch. She's really annoying because, like, as far as the spots go on the ears, she's got really nice well broken up ears like as far as markings go and she's got this big eye patch yeah and it's mr black the boys is just so chilled and so laid back and he's just a big boy he is isn't he red on you know oh you go yeah that's cool isn't it that's a cool little marking he's cool <laughs> you're always really good at noticing like patterns and stuff on their markings you know so cool <laughs> I do my best to not name them like the first two litters we had I did name them so like Mr Orange I remember was Edgar Mr Grey was Eugene Miss Red oh what was Miss Red she might have been like I know Miss Pink was Aurora anyway nicknamed them all and then um, it just got confusing to everybody who was like watching and following the litter. Um, so I've been pretty good at just colour color names. Except for you, Princess Leia. Yeah. But I don't think anyone could be in any doubt who you are, could they? Could they? Yeah. You're just a Princess Leia. <laughs> you funny, you funny. You winter. You winter. Hey, yo, you a winter. Yeah, they do. There's no real similar ones, and I can't say. You know, the odd head. I'm just gonna turn the heat lamp on a bit. Some of the heads. I kind of think, oh, you know, I can see pod in them. Um, but other than that, no, they're all very different. Um, and normally Lily has a clone, like of her. Um, like last litter she had was Enzo. And the litter before, there was Dora, Sirius and George, like... Other than obviously the size of Dora compared to the three boys. You stand them side by side and you're in no doubt, you know, whose babies they are. And the only one I think that might look a little bit like her is Miss Purple. And who else? Maybe Mr. Black. Yeah. Um, and if you go back far enough... You'll see what I mean, um, like about the clone thing. Um, 
Like they do look like mini me's of her. Well, the boy's not so mini anymore, but yeah. Lil, leave it alone. She's licking Disney's cat. You know, when you sat here and you're thinking, is it really a good idea for the others to be in the other room unsupervised? Because they normally get up to mischief. Yeah. Well, the puppies do. And then Aria and Pod have a little cheeky join in because they even though they know they shouldn't. They think because the puppies do it, they could. Raven's favourite thing is she goes in we got like a bucket and it's got like bits of paper and cardboard, you know, ready just to help the fire get going. And her favourite thing is to nick cardboard from that bucket and rip it up on the rug. Like, it's just an annoying thing. It's not, it's nothing that cost me any money, like chewing shoes or something, but it's a pain having to clean up ripped up cardboard. Sure, that was Podrick. Pod! Oh, Jude, something happened because you've come in looking a bit sheepish. Pumpkin pie. Your baby's body, Podrick. Are you Pod? <gasps> you naughty body. <laughs> oh, I know, they're growing like crazy. Raven probably more than pumpkin. I think she's going to be bigger than pumpkin. And she's a lot more foody. Miss Bink. Yeah, in all fairness, it's like they've always been here. It's a proper puppy pile, isn't it? Like, yeah, and Aria and Pod are just unbelievable with them. Um, like, every morning, it's chaos because they're just so... Well, she's just so playful with one another, and then Jude gets involved. And then it's just crazy. This litter is so like calm and peaceful compared to the last one. Little man's so cool. He's got such good eyeliner. Mm. Yeah, Pod is so cuddly. He's really sweet. Like, 
he's got to be like with somebody when he's sleeping and lying down. Like even now he's stood there with his head over Disney's back. Like he loves to be in contact with somebody all the time. No matter what. And then yeah, he's a suck. Cody, you good boy. Good boy. Should I get your mother in? Should I get your mother in? I think you're gonna eat much more of that puppy mash, yeah. Nasty stuff in it. It's actually very good quality puppy kibble and goat snack. But. Dudley now. And Dudley just barks. I really wish Dudley would just tell him off, like really go and tell him. Because Pod still annoys him all the time. Hello. 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 Comes. <laughs> I know we're lush of this side. Miss Green, puppies. She's over there. Puppies. <laughs> Very gnarly, like look about her. It's, you know. Lil, you can't get in and nick the puppy food. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? It's probably why she's prob my favourite. And I shouldn't say that, but she'd be my pick, personally. Because she reminds me of Nanny Nala. Nala. You good girl, Nala. You've been real pain in the bum today, pinching food. She's growling because they're there. It's just food possession. This is like still their favourite part, their favourite meal of the day. Well, it's not just the only meal they get, she comes in here a few times a day, but this is what they enjoy the most. Watch now, Lily's nearly finished clearing up their bowl. Bet you, yeah, as soon as she's finished, she'll go to the gate and be like, come on, Aunt, let me out. <laughs> Don't need to be in here any longer than it takes to eat all my food. She hasn't got a ton of milk anyway, to be honest.
Throw it out here. See, I must have like kind of given up and got off. They're not really hungry. I just chances. There you go. See that? <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to do something different with Lily feeding wise. I normally the girls I get they um they get oh my god the best like loads of goat's milk, loads of cheese, loads of uh, raw food like a mixture of raw and really good kibble. Um, I get some pasta um, and then yeah, me Lisa. But then Lily um, was being sick, like on all the rich food, like actually throwing up sick. So um, I've had to kind of do something different and she's mostly on kibble, like that's kibble mixed with puppy kibble that she's on anyway, mixed with goat's milk. Um, so yeah, I've had to do that um, and it's stopped her being sick. But yeah, normally they fed a lot more variety in their food and a lot sort of higher calorie food and um I, I a puppy kibble is high calorie I'm not saying but it's not like eating cheese and well Jude was on a carton of goat's milk a day for the first three weeks pod stop it podrick pod Pod. It's like you gotta say his name at least three times. You might he'll pause on the first one, but he needs like three, four repetitions of his name before he actually moves his bum and listens. I think the weather in the UK is just going colder, so hopefully they can start going out soon. We probably could have got away with it today, to be honest, but just didn't really get a chance. Oh, that's good. Miss Green, I noticed she was trying to poop um, earlier. And she wasn't pooping. And she was trying at the start of this live and wasn't. And she just has. So, oh, they were trying to nurse off pod when the puppy people were here. So, <laughs> you want to show sure about that. <laughs> but you just pooped and it was a nice solid one. And she pooped. So, I was getting a bit like, oh my God, please go, please go. <laughs> yeah. They <laughs> Puppies are naughty. <laughs> they cheeky. You cheeky. Come on. It's a ball. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. That's a big spotty belly. That's a big spotty belly. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing to me? What are you doing? Has <sighs> pumpkin appearing with a bottle and disappearing again? Chaos, you stuck on your back like a beach whale. You're funny. <laughs> oh, gosh, Raven. Raven? It's the madhouse. We're in the quiet bit. We're in the quiet corner, we are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I get a proper puppy pile now. Look at the puppy pile of cuddles, isn't it? He kind of reminds me of Mr. Dark Blue in the first litter we have bred, his face, because of his eyeliner. Some angles, this eyeliner could look like a heart on this side. Um, but then he does kind of remind me of Pod as well. I gotta say, you can see Pod 
in a lot of them in their characters. Like Lily's pretty laid back, but nobody's as laid back as Pod. Um, there's eight in this litter. He's lush and he little man is. Um, there's three boys and five girls. So this is one of the boys. This is another boy, Mr. Orange, who is the most laid back. And that's saying something because they're practically horizontal anyway. And then there's Mr. Black. He's getting quite cute, isn't he? You're getting quite cute. Um, excuse me, Mr. Orange. He just like sits there usually, right? And he just rests his head on my leg. He's really funny. Yeah. yeah. If he had more eyeliner, he would be... I don't know, his face shape just reminds me so much of Pod. We always talk about the eyeliner. We always need eyeliner. Yeah, it's a long-haired Dalmatian. They... As far as I'm aware, they only exist in America. I'm pretty sure there's some Europeans who've imported them by now. But it's not a recognised coat type, um, in, especially not in the UK. And so if you had one, you just have it. Like, you couldn't show it or anything. Um, I don't think you can show them in America, in all honesty. But I dare say... That's probably the plan of people who've got long haired Dalmatians is to get them recognised by the Kennel Club. And maybe there'll be a short haired Dalmatian class and a long haired Dalmatian class. Same as they do with other coat, coat types. Like you have the wire haired Vizsla, you have the um, smooth Vizsla. And like German, short haired pointed German, long haired German, wire haired. I guess they do the same there if they ever got that far with the whole plan program thing so he just likes to rest his head on me <laughs> he's funny actually i know he's got a patch and a few more spots but he does look quite like mr orange like ghost face and stuff Todd, what is your obsession why do you want to go in a crate he's weird your daddy's weird. There you go. Bite each other. Bite each other. Oh, are you showing, showing everyone that big fat belly? Oh, are you showing yours as well, little man? <laughs> you look like your son bathing. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. Look at those two spots there. And it's like his middle line down to his belly button is on either side. Um, so if you're interested in puppies, uh, please send us a Facebook message to our Facebook page. Um, and then with my favourite donation, do you mean like out of my own Dalmatians or like from the film? Dad! Worrying noises coming from that room. Here. Pumpkin pie. You could kill pumpkin. You guys are crazy. Yeah, he's funny, right? But from the live action. I gotta say Pongo. And 
because, right, if you look at the training that's gone into that dog, like all the tricks he did for part of that movie, and then also he does look like Dudley, so I would say Pongo from the live action. Do people have a favourite from uh, my own Dalmatians? Oh, yeah, so the Kennel Club recognised colours are black spot and liver, but you can get lemon spots, you can get um, blue spots and orange spots, and I've even seen some tri-coloured Dalmatians. Oh, my God, yeah. Do you know what? I see, every time I watch that movie, I'm like, I gotta teach mine more tricks. You know, even the um pulling the shower curtain and then I was pumpkin having a time of drink, she wants to come in here. Um pressing the button for the coffee machine. I love it when him and Purdy hug and they taught them to put their heads over one another's shoulders. Like that's just really sweet, isn't it? I actually know somebody who had a puppy in that film. Um, not in the main litter, but they were part of the 99 puppies. You guys are just so chill. You are. You're naughty, Raven. You're not chill. Pumpkin, you be a naughty pumpkin. A little man just looking at her. Pumpkin pie. Right, I'm gonna leave this here because I wanna. <laughs> yeah, they are special, aren't they? Yeah, like that's right. You think for cuddling, right? You can't really beat Podrick because he is just so sweet and cuddly. When she's in the mood, she's really cuddly too. Um, and then, yeah, they're all, Disney and Nala, yeah, Nala, she's just, oh my gosh, she's my baby, Nala is. Disney's just like, I don't know, she's part of the pack, but she kind of keeps her nose clean generally, doesn't she? Um. Um, so yeah, and like for showing, Nala is just so easy, so straightforward. You can arrive a minute before your class and put a show lead on and go in the ring. No worries there. Um, and for going for walks and stuff, Nala is so easy. She doesn't go far, you got recall. Doesn't travel anyone. Right, I'm gonna leave this here. Cause I, ah, oh, thank you. I wanna see what they've done next door. I put all their toys in a basket. So I dare say their toys are gonna be everywhere except the basket. <laughs> so yeah anyway see you all soon bye